Guys, good morning or afternoon or whatever the hell this is. Um, I'm back in my uh, my memorabilia room. Uh, some of you guys like the uh, some like the the video that I did, and uh, I'm gonna have a question for you at the end of this. So hopefully you watch it. I'm gonna try to do these. I'm gonna do a few of these, but I'm gonna do these little by little. Um, as Ricky was saying earlier today. Anything over five minutes, nobody ain't li nobody ain't listening. That was good English. Anyways, let me show you a couple things. I'm going to show you a few things that I have in this room. One of the things I really like this is a uh, a replica of Fenway Park. I bought this at a uh, uh, flea market. I think I paid twenty bucks for it. Really cool little piece. Um, not taken apart, so the stuff is still in there, and. Uh, really do like that and then uh let me get down here let's see if i can get that to stay and i'll show you um those i have a pair of cleats those are saved, signed by dave collins um i have my tommy lasorda popcorn yes and also his hall of flame little hall of flame hall of fame plaque signed by him we have my Andrew Jones bobblehead. Down here we've got some Coke bottles. Some different books and different things. I just like collecting, man. That's that's what I like to do, you know. Uh, I'll show you some of the stuff I got up here. We have Gaylord Perry. Enos Slaughter. Larry Doby. Uh, Nolan Ryan. Frank Robinson, we got a Frank Thomas up there, that's Sam Jethro, really good Negro League player, and then he played with the Indians for a little while, um, that one is signed by, here I'll put it up there, you guys can see it, I don't have my glasses on so I can't see it, then over here we've got uh, Brooks Robinson, and yeah, it's hard to see, but it's Boog Powell. Ted Turner. And Gene Michael. And then I've got my jerseys up here. we got Ian Kennedy. And you saw the Rico the other day. We have an Eric Davis up there. Uh, Red Shane Dienst. Louis Aparicio. Mo Vaughn. Hargrove. And then I've got my Griffey corner here that continues to grow. I've got a lot more Griffey stuff. I have more autographed baseballs than I care to name for you. Um, hats down there. Ken Giles, who uh, sucks now, but uh, that's my autographed Ken Giles jersey. And I'm not going to move the TV. That's my kid's TV, and it's in the way. Uh, we got Johnny Sane. So, there you go. A little quick, quick, just just quick going through of uh, some of the stuff that I've got. Some of the autographs that I've got. Um, my Wally. <laughs> and my Yaz Cup. Uh Claude Osteen, you may know who that is, you may not. And back there is Bronson Arroyo. So that's that's some of my uh, some of my baseball stuff. Um, I've got a ton of it. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't inventoried all of it. I probably should. Just haven't had the chance. Actually, this is a piece I really like. This is uh, a memorial dedication for. Uh, Ducky Medwick comes with that, came with that coin. That was pretty cool. Um, just something that they did at this cemetery for him. And uh, I picked that up. I don't even remember where I got it from, but uh, I picked that up from him. And then one of my favorite balls, this is Tot Presnall, 1938. He, uh, he played a long time ago. So really, really some pretty cool uh, autographs. I've got this this slab here. Um, Sid Graves, who played in the 20s. 
Um, I like collecting that kind of stuff, just that old, old stuff uh, that you don't see all that often. So there you go. Um, here's my question for you guys. Um, I, uh, I have my tattoos. I've got quite a few of them now. Um, thinking about getting one, I'm going to get one. Uh, I need on the back of my shoulder and it's either going to be a T206 or a 55 Bowman. May do both. I don't know. Which one should I get first? The T206 or the 55 Bowman? Let me know. Those are my two of my favorite sets. So let me know what you guys think and um, talk to you guys.